Since you can't move, my victory is in the bag. <laughs> this is over, weakling. I'm not giving up. I've come too far to just let it end like this. My goal is still out of reach. <laughs> Disappear from this world! Kine! <sighs> I won't let you. Uh. No. Not yet. I... <sighs> I'm not gonna give up! <laughs> She's using the force of her energy to propel herself at a high speed. What in the... <laughs> Perhaps an attack like that is deserving of a name. <laughs> Icon is down and appears to be unconscious. The winner by knockout is Gine. She will advance to the second round. Be advised, the King Vegeta himself will grant us the honor of spectating the final round. So put on a good show, finalists. Seems like it's my turn to get you back on your feet. And you finally found a use for that thick head of yours. By the way, you look terrible. Don't be such a killjoy, old man. This is my first victory. Don't spoil it for me. Your injuries aren't too serious, but you'll have a few hours to recover before your next match. Come on, I'll take you to the healing chamber. <sighs> you sure you're up for it? I wouldn't want you to collapse along with me. Well, aren't you quite the comedian? But sometimes I worry about you too much. Well, I wish you weren't the only one who worries about me. So that young man over there is Bardock. The one you've had your eye on since you were a child? <laughs> well, when everyone thought you were about to die, he was so worried that he was about to intervene in the fight to save you. Even if it cost him his position as squad leader, he's just your run-of-the-mill Saiyan who's incapable of expressing his true feelings. Bardock? Was... worried about me? <laughs> you look like a spoiled brat. Start acting like an adult. <laughs> also, quit fidgeting around. You only make your injuries worse. The next match for the last position on Team Bardock is about to begin. Participants make their way to the arena immediately. Kine may have just gotten lucky, but it was a good fight nonetheless. You're wrong. It wasn't just luck. She was perfectly aware that her attacks weren't very effective, so she decided to concentrate on hitting her opponent exclusively in the face. As weak as her attacks were, if focused on a single point, they would eventually pay off. Evidently, Icon was knocked out for all the damage that he took to the face. I still think luck was on her side. Although, something tells me that you're actually glad that she won. Am I right? I have no clue what you're talking about. Wait a minute, Anyat. Before I get myself healed, I want to watch the next match. I want to see who my next opponent's gonna be, and... <laughs> <coughs> And it's an instant KO. The match is over. What the... How could the fight end so quickly? Winner by knockout is Fasha. She will move on to the final round against Gine. <laughs> Fasha? Are you also participating? You were so distracted that you didn't even notice I was here. I hope you'll be ready soon, Gine, because I'll be fighting with all my might. I'll be the one who will take that last spot on the team, and I'll destroy whoever gets in my way to achieve that. This will get interesting. But know this. I don't plan to lose, Fasha.
shortly after at the medical ward. I heard her match was quite a fierce one. Still, no one really expected her to win. This woman is full of surprises, Doctor. She's a lot stronger than she appears. Kine's recovery shouldn't take much longer now. She'll be ready just in time for her next fight. However, I'm afraid there's still nothing we can do about your illness. I apologize. No need to bother with me, Doc. I've already accepted my fate. All I can do now is try to set Gine on the right path to be a better Saiyan. This fight is important to her. Even if she wins a spot on Bardock's team, it might not be the best thing for her. After recovering shortly before the fight. So, Farsha, if memory serves, you were friends with her once. And now? It's hard to tell. We were always friends when we were kids, but we just sort of drifted apart after we chose different paths to get stronger. I didn't think I'd be facing her in the tournament. But now is as good a time as any to find out which of us is the superior Saiyan once and for all. So you and Farsha used to fight a lot when you were kids, right? So tell me, have you ever defeated her? Nope, not once. She manages to kick my butt every time when we're training. <laughs> How? How can you just say that so casually? Well, it's all in the past now. We haven't fought each other in a long time. We've both been training separately. If I want to beat her, I have to believe I'm strong enough to win. I can't think about losing. Mm. I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I know it's possible. I'm not as weak as I once was. Now that I'm all healed, I'm ready to rumble. Also, I've got a good feeling about this fight. <laughs> Battle Coliseum, moments before Gine and Fosh's fight. The last match to determine who will be the final member of Team Bardock will now begin. For this occasion, His Majesty King Vegeta III will do the honors of pronouncing the winner. You know, it's not too late to quit now and save yourself the embarrassment of losing to me. And waste the opportunity of a lifetime by beating you in front of everyone, including the king? I don't think so. Face it, Gine, you never had what it took to beat me in a real fight. So what makes you think this time will be any different? You're way too overconfident, that's what. It's been a long time coming, but now, nothing's gonna stop me from finally kicking your ass. Let the match begin! Just a heads up, Fasha. If you want to beat me, you'll have to come at me with everything you've got. I'll make you regret ever suggesting such a thing, Gine. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. I can tell you've gotten a lot stronger since the last time I wiped the floor with you. But if that's the best you can do, I'm not impressed. Don't rule me out yet. I'm just getting started. Not bad, Gine. You're actually starting to make this fun for me. But let's see if you can dodge this! Tell me you're giving up already. At least make this fun for me. I'm just getting started. <laughs> How boring. This isn't even a challenge. You're just wasting energy with this desperate attack. <laughs> What's the matter? Ran out of tricks to pull out of your sleeves? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> It. That barrage of energy was just a distraction. This battle's really heating up. It's a real shame we can't have both of them on our team. Huh? Yo, Bardock, here's a suggestion. What do you say we throw Shigesh off the team? That way we'll have two vacancies for the girls. What? 
Fasha made the mistake of underestimating Gine. She didn't realize that Gine's strength increased after her fight with Icon. But even so, those two aren't losing ground even an inch. The next one to make a mistake might be the loser. <laughs> and you guys weren't paying attention. You two, quit acting like children and concentrate on the fight. <laughs> This brings back memories. Back when she was a child, nobody wanted to train with Gine. She was considered too weak and small. But Farsha, despite being very popular among the youngsters, was the only one to ever approach Gine. Since then, the two have become inseparable as sisters. I'm positive that at this moment, neither of them care about earning a place on the team. Just looking at their faces is enough to know that they are enjoying a good fight between sisters. Bardock here, on the next episode of Dragon Ball Gine Reboot, we reach the epic conclusion of the battle between childhood friends, what is about to unfold, and who will be victorious, as our first mission as a squad is also about to commence. Next time on Dragon Ball Gine Reboot, Fasha vs. Gine, Friends Collide. Subscribe to not miss it. He looks just like you though, don't you think? He certainly has his father's hair, for better or worse. Maybe it's because of the constant fight.